Hello, my mega mighty mathematicians. In our last class, we um, talked a little bit about place value and we talked about how to say really large numbers. And so we're going to, um, this video is just a quick sort of review refresher um, about that. And we're going to start by thinking about just place value and where commas go. So I'll start by writing a, ah, what am I? pen here. Okay. Start by writing a number. How about three, six, two, uh, kind of making these numbers up as I go along. All right. So we've got a number here. And one of the reasons that we put commas in, so we start from the right and we count three numbers, one, two, three. And then that is where we are going to put the comma. Then we count another three, one, two, three, and that is where we put the comma. So one, two, three, one, two, three. That makes it a little bit easier to read. Okay, now I'm looking at the number and I can really see what it is. And I'll just tell you real quick. It's 3,621,478. Now, most of you, if not all of you, know how to say numbers up until the thousands place. It's kind of around here where we get a little bit jumbled up as to how to say it. So we'll start off by just focusing on what we already know. I'm actually just going to cross this out as if it's not even here. Let's pretend it's not even here. I know I'm going a little crazy here. Oh my goodness. Okay. So we know that this number is that we can see here. We see that eight is in the ones place, seven is in the tens place, four is in the hundreds place, and one is in the thousands place. To say this number, we say 1,478. Now here's the thing. Some people, including myself sometimes, uh, will say this number, 478, as 400 and 78. So you can say 478 or 478. The correct way is without the and. And so we're all going to practice saying it the correct way, 478. And then the full number, 1,478. And sometimes I slip myself and I throw the and in there. It doesn't necessarily make it wrong because people can still understand what you're saying, but I like to really have us do it the correct way. So 1,478, now here is where it gets interesting. Now we add, let's, let's cross all this out. Let's get rid of this millions here. Now we've added a thousand, well we had the thousands place, but now we've added the 10 thousands place and the 100 thousands place. Now, what do you notice if I block out this whole side and we just look at this number, it's 621, right? So the way to say this part is 621. Then we add the thousand to it because it's in, so we, we have the furthest left marker uh, furthest left number at the hundred thousandths place. So to say all this together is 621,478. And this is where the comma is super helpful. We have six numbers from right to left, and that helps me know that we are dealing with hundred thousands. So again, to say this number, we say 621,478. And we're going to practice this a lot because it is, it is challenging to fully understand, right? Now, again, every three numbers, you're dealing with 
So here we have hundreds, tens, and ones. And over here, we have hundred, tens, and then ones, but in the thousands area, which is the three numbers to the left of the initial hundreds. I hope I haven't confused you here, but like I said, we're gonna practice a lot, so it'll all make sense. So, to offer another example, let's say, again, let's say if I only had these numbers, 100, I mean, sorry, 1,478. Now, add another number to the left, we're dealing with the 10 thousands place, we would say it 21,478. Add the 100 thousands place, 621,478. And now let's get real wild and add the millions. Throw in a comma, because we're counting three here. Throw in a comma, 3,621,478. And I know you're probably wondering, well, what happens when we go more left? Like if I had a five here, we would say it 53,621,478. So now let's do a little fun practice using our example. I'm gonna write a number. Okay, first thing I have to do is throw in my comma. I'm gonna count one, two, three numbers. So the comma is going to go here. There's nothing else. There are no numbers. Um, there are no numbers here. So I don't, I don't need to put in any more commas. And the way to say this number is 2,478. If you already thought that in your head, you were on the right track. Let's throw in another number. You know what, I should probably keep it the same color. And again, we're gonna look where our comma is. Three numbers, we've got three numbers. We can't go to the right. Now we've got, take a minute and think to yourself, what is this number? How do we say it? 32,478. If that's what you were thinking, you were really, really on target. Good for you. I mean, if you didn't get that, that's okay, because we're going to keep practicing. All right, let's throw in another number. Throw in a comma, one, two, three. We look over here and one, two, three, but there's no number over here, so we don't need another comma. Now, to say this, we say 132,478. Does that make sense? I hope it does, and like I said, if not, we're going to go over it some more. Okay, let's make this number even bigger. Oh, that's hard to read. I need my commas, so. One, two, three, comma. One, two, three, comma. Okay. Now, how do we say this number? Ooh, well, let's see. We've got, we've got 478 here. And then we've got some hundred thousands here. 132,000 here. So we've got the 100 thousands place but we have another one here. Oh, that's going to be millions. So what we have is 2,132,478. All right, let's do some quick practice. Are you still with me, guys? All right, I'm going to write some numbers, and you say it to yourself. And I'm going to give it a minute, or not a minute, let's just say 10 seconds. Okay, that's 78, 178, 
2,178. One, two, three. 32,178. Six hundred thirty two thousand one hundred seventy eight. Okay, think about where the commas go. Where are our commas going to go? If you thought to yourself before the one and before the six, you were correct. Now, think about it. How do we say this number? Four million six hundred thirty two thousand one hundred seventy eight. Four million six hundred thirty two. Ah, I don't have the best handwriting. Thirty two thousand one. Hundred seventy eight. Yippee! Yay! yay. All right, Ehos. I will see you at the next class. I hope you found this a little bit helpful. I'm really excited to see everyone. Um, you you all always fill my day with joy, believe it or not. Um, and 